hello once again welcome back to Imkuteka tutorial guys do you see this drawing it may look pretty complex to you but this is the simplest of them all look all you need to do is to draw this circle this circle and draw one of those we'll just draw this one on the base here and we'll pattern we'll make it an uh, a polar pattern that is a circular pattern to duplicate this copies then we make this fillet and that's all so let's start right away first circle radius 20 second circle radius 40 the distance from here to the edge here 90 so look at this radius 20 radius 40 so start drawing circle radius 20 another circle radius 40 okay do you see this now do you realize that the distance from this center to this edge is 90 we can just simply put a construction line and get that out so offset by 90 units from this position downward now from here to here is 90 right so can literally get the center point for this semicircle and this arc but how do we do that let's look around the radius of the small circle here is 5 the radius of the big circle here is 10 therefore from this place to this place is 10 okay look at this is is all written here 10 from this place to that place is the radius the, the, they are they are concentric right so we can just offset by 10 from here up then we'll draw another construction line right here and we've got in the center so all we need to do is draw this to this point you can see that radius 10 draw another circle of radius 5 radius 5 and we have that from there now we will trim this and this okay it's very simple and we will offset this up by a distance of 25 units so that we can get this other one there so offset by 25 from this place up then draw this echo radius yes radius 5 again and take a line to close this and this you see from here we can just simply delete this one and trim this this so that is okay we can trim this as well we will delete the rest but not now so do you know that from this this is tangential this line here is tangent to this and also tangent to this circle okay yes i understand what you are seeing you can see that there is a space here yes i can see that too but it's tangent to the circle first before it was trimmed after the pattern it was trimmed after the pattern so you'll just watch and see we are going to select a line so right hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse tangent to this the same thing again shift right click tangent to that we we'll do the same thing on the right shift right click tangent on this shift right click tangent on that now we have this we will simply just select trim now and trim this and this okay so we can manually erase the remnants this one so erase do you see this we've got this right okay so we're just simply going to pattern make a pattern of this item sorry including this and this we'll select drop down you can see rectangular array part array and polar array so polar is circular so polar array specify the center point of array here you can see it's trying to make five um six copies so we are going to just select three since 
there was only three in our diagram so three you can see it has worked and accept okay I want you to zoom and see do you see this we we'll simply select trim and trim but it will not work for one reason reason being that what this polar array combines this particular diagram into a single object therefore we have to explode it to make it uh, you know independent so we are going to simply type e x p l you will see explode enter so i've already selected an explode you can see it has been separated they are all in the on their own now right so we can now trim trim right click so we can trim this place this place do you see that how clean um the same thing here this place and this place the same thing here this place and this place enter now we can come here and fillet this edge with radius 30 unit simple see fillet fillet so you are going to write radius 30 units enter select multiple because you're doing for three objects look i want you to see it clearly do you see that's okay the same thing for this place this and this this and this you see we're done i said it was the simplest so thank you for watching i think we we'll, from here dimensioned it so annotate right there modify the height say five units the text color green we're going to select line color line color is yellow and we're going to select baseline spacing is okay then offset from this thing is two offset from origin two then text iso standard and okay so we are going to select radius i think they give us radius all through radius of this circle is 20 radius of the second circle is 40 is all given so the radius of this fillet was given as 30 right so um we have the radius of this circle was given here as 5 also the radius of this circle here was given as 10 and the distance the linear distance between this point and this center point was given as 25 right so you were also given the distance between this place and this the edge here make sure it's correct if not you will have something else um 90 right so there you go guys can you see it's very clear very simple and um organized so i think that's all okay the radius of this was also written as five so we already know that but if you want i can still put it the um radius of this is five all right guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in our next video